I mentioned in previous videos that I believe that we have a multifaceted nature, not a not a conflicted nature. Well, I guess we do have a conflicted nature, but not a dual nature is what I meant to say. A lot of people say we have a dual nature, i.e. good and bad, or Apollonian and Dionysian, or whatever. Um, personally, I think that we have as many natures as we care to imagine, and uh, not one of them is going to dominate at any given time. Um, and our parts conflict with each other. In other words, our, you know, let's say, for example, our rational uh, side, a rational part of our makeup, that part which is methodical, um, you know, coherent and <laughs> mathematical or whatever, uh, is, you know, sort of at odds, at least in terms of consistency, with uh, that side of our nature, which is not rational. Like, you know, you discuss logic with people, some people, and I don't mean anybody in particular here, um, I really don't, <laughs> with some people, and if they see you making a defense of illogic, they get angry. Now, there's no rational way to get angry. <laughs> uh, that's the very nature of anger, is you lose your logical faculties temporarily. Seneca called it, I guess, temporary insanity. Um, and, you know, any other number of things, you're perfectly rational until, you know, you think you got a chance at meeting that gorgeous babe over there sitting on the bar stool and pretty soon you're throwing reason and logic out of the window and you don't really care and you're going to do anything to get that. And that could be anything. Um, so what do we do about that? That we have this multifaceted nature whose constituent parts are always conflicting with each other. Well, that's the previous video, Miden Agan, all things in balance, nothing in excess. Um, now that Miden Agan was supposed to apply to humans, and I would see why that would apply. Uh, because um, <clears throat> we, um, we have a multifaceted nature. If you overemphasize one aspect of a multifaceted thing, you starve the other ones, I guess, and overwork that aspect, uh, which is, you know, being uh, indulged to the exclusion of everything else. That's all I mean when I say uh, miden agan. Um, when it's, you know, when we've been irrational, there's no sense in letting our rational side or our logical side beat up the irrational side. It doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, the typical cultures that um, promote repression in all its forms generally do that. They generally <coughs> insist that the rational side should, I guess, subjugate the non-rational portion of us, or the irrational or whatever. Uh, the problem is that won't be subjugated, and all you're doing is you're trying to subjugate part of yourself. You can't do that. It needs attention uh, just as any other part does. So that's why I would say nothing in excess, and I would think that's what it applies to. You can't uh, have excessive logic for a being that's not completely logical, but you can't have completely irrational uh, thinking behavior in a being that requires a rational outlook just to exist in this world. Uh, or at least it needs a rational, it needs the capacity to have a rational outlook at certain times. But we are so many different things, apart from rational and non-rational and irrational and anti-rational and utterly rational and all that kind of thing, that it's difficult to sort of say which one is the one that should dominate us, if any. Balance. Balance everything. Um, I've dealt with, in this video, in these, this series of videos, uh, starting off with Matt Dillhunty's video, um, what happens when you get imbalance, when you get too much of an emphasis on logic, you tend to become enslaved by your own logic, you become enslaved by your own desire for consistency, non-contradiction, this sort of thing. When human beings are inconsistent and contradictory, it is not rational to expect that which is not rational to be nothing but rational. We're not built like that. Um, <clears throat> and so that's why I say that you have to sort of 
have balance. In other words, you have to be find some way of integrating all these different aspects of one's makeup. You have to learn to, to have the rational coexist with the irrational. You have to uh, learn to allow the cold-blooded part of you to coexist with the warm-hearted part. You have to, um, you know, allow uh, your, the opposites in yourself to get along with each other without negating each other. And this is the problem that I have with negation. Um, you can tell yourself that you've negated a certain aspect of your, uh, of your makeup. Have you negated it at all? In other words, I'm going to be completely logical. Now what? <laughs> you know, I'm going to run up against an awful lot of illogic afterwards. What, what should I do? Get mad? Well, so much for logic, eh? <laughs>